Baptist Church and family, I'm so glad that I can share with y'all a word of encouragement through the Second Cup Method. I'm Lauren Duke, and my word of encouragement is prayer. But first of all, I want to thank the church for all they've done for me and supported me. And I know whenever I walk in that church, I'm going to be loved and filled with joy, and everyone will always be kind. But anyway, back to prayer. Prayer is powerful and close like you can always just pray to God he's always listening he's always there and it's it's just prayer like it's right there but um I overlooked prayer for so long and I would pray to God like God I want this and I want this to be like this and I want to be this but it was just I prayed it I prayed for once and not needs but I really I didn't I didn't know I was just praying to God whenever I needed him whenever I wanted him and I wouldn't pray to him on the daily and thank him whenever I needed wherever he did something for me I just prayed for him when I prayed to him when I wanted something but Matthew wasn't there six Six says, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who is who sees what is done in secret will reward you. I remember the first time I read that, I was like, Lauren, you need to go to your room and you need to pray. You need to shut the door, close out the distractions. Like, it's just, like, that's what Jesus says. He says, go to your room and shut the door. And I know when I go to my room and I shut the door, like when I shut the door, I'm like closing out the distractions, the anger and frustration I have for me not to pray and a reason for me not to pray. But like, it's important that we pray daily. Like we need the time with God in the presence and the calmness of us with him, just a one-on-one -on -one connection. James 5, 16 says, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So that passage says that we should confess our sins to each other. And that actually is hard for me to confess my sins to a friend or something because you're always scared about what if I get judged for my sins. But you know who the right person is to confess your sins to but it's important that we do confess our sins to get it out of us so we don't have all this baggage on us and in us but um the importance of communication through prayer is important um but what's encouraging to me is that jesus prayed with friends that is just like that's crazy because Whenever I pray, I've, I've prayed by myself, but um, praying with friends, you're always scared you're going to say something wrong or do it in the wrong context or say something wrong. But when you're praying, it's just you and God. He is there listening. He's not going to, if you say something wrong, it's not like you're incorrect. You're just praying to him. So... Um, I encourage you to get friends and pray and really take time in prayer and shut the door, shut out all those distractions, take time in prayer and study it and apply it, you know, but, um, through this pandemic, it's hard to just pray and just trust God, but we have to, and that's what we're called to do, but I encourage you to pray with friends. I encourage you to pray with friends and know that God's always listening, even though he may not answer your prayer when you want it. But um, one little last thing is prayer isn't a monologue, it's a dialogue. That is just crazy to me. But I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys and I hope y'all stay safe.